Hey, this is Hex from the Overwatch League. This is In My Sights. Today, we're going to take a look at the unsung hero of many matches, the Orisa. It's going to be played by Gesture of the Soul Dynasty. So this is going to be a VOD from a few weeks back. We wanted to do some Summer Showdown stuff this weekend, but this is to tide you over. We had some technical issues with the replay viewer. There's a lot of times where you're playing Orisa and it doesn't feel like you're impacting the game because that's just kind of how she's designed. She operates best by just existing, but the things you want to do are just control space. You're the main tank manage your cooldowns, and you are the combo starter. The halt is one of the best abilities in the game to start off combos. Look, if we're being honest, we're all friends here, I can be honest. I don't like playing main tank on Anubis. So let's watch Gesture do it in about 10 minutes, get it done, and see how he does it quickly so we can move on to the next map. On Anubis, you're always going to want to control this platform early on, but he's going to notice that he's up against a Reinhardt composition. So he's going to move on to bridge, and that's because you don't want to be holding this archway. One of the things I see a lot in mid-level gameplay is people holding this site and just getting walked over by Reinhardt's. There's the early halt trying to get poke damage in, and now I know is exactly where they're going. But if you stand right here between these pillars, you're not using the architecture properly. Jester does a great job of always using the pillar as part of his shields. And now you can't stand up close, he's just going to back up on the bridge, that's where all of his shields are going to go, because he also wants the other part of his team to be able to get in on the fights, let them in so that the other part of his squad on the right-hand side can get some damage done. That halts us try to pull people off and make their attack a little more uh, discombobulated. They do just that, able to isolate Gushue, and now it's a chase down. Trying to help out his Ash up top, doesn't need it. And that's a single fight one. Try to get him on the chase. Halt is something that I think you should always be using unless you're saving it for a combination. You'll see a lot of times he's setting up with his Sigma. Halt into accretion works really well. Halt into Gravitic Flux. Also, you're a ranged tank. You can crack shields. Get behind the barrier, but he always uses the architecture. Always pay attention on maps of what you can use to your advantage architecture-wise. Bob goes in, there's the halts, and he also does a great job of firing down these May walls, focusing down single pillars. Of course, tanks can now fit through a single gap in a pillar, or a single gap in the wall. Nice halt into Flux right there, has to give up the ground, and Godsby's gonna get his. He's gonna get his, one of the best damage egos we have in the league, so Gesture will go down there, but he set up the, uh, the Gravitic Flux combination and the rest of his team's able to get some. And you would think, having four legs, being a quadruped, Arissa would be faster. She's not slower than really anyone else in the game, just feels slower, feels like she should be faster. The long, lonely walk back. But his team's in a good spot, he doesn't have to worry about playing low grounds, they've already taken the position that he wants. So just gonna take his bridge back. Only 90 seconds left here for the spark too. Using the architecture, using the stairs, getting as much damage in. His shield goes down early. Now he's got the amplification matrix in the front, and that's a terrifying sound. Spark gonna have to play back off this. Can use the pillar that way Ryan can't charge him, he can't get knocked back. And now you have to vacate. Fortification, as he goes down. Nice pull there, and he's able to get the opposing Sigma. It's really important to be patient with your cooldowns as main tank, because look right there. Like, his Sigma is frozen, and in some situations you would panic, put a shield in front of him, maybe fortify and stand in front of him. He doesn't do that. Another halt into Flux. Just gets super value out of it. Charges down the pillar, but now he knows that they have a Matrix out there. Wants to back out away from that. 20 seconds left. The halt into accretion again. They're able to isolate the Sigma. Sashin got absolutely abused this map. It's a good placement for your supercharger around the corner so it can't be destroyed. Knocks down the pillar. And it wouldn't be in my sights if we didn't essentially end a half with the POV of the person we're watching being dead. It seems to happen every map we pick. It's not on purpose, I swear. Now you go to the ball here. Nice little boost just to get back to the point. 
you're not losing any value because you already just used your ultimate, also just make sure that you can close out the map right there. Close out your defense. That's as good as it gets if you're playing main tank on Anubis. Please let us full hold. Please let us just take this map. Please put me on another map. I'm sure there are, there are a few people out there who like Anubis. I've yet to meet one. So now really easy ask for the Soul Dynasty. Just get 60% progress on the point. Take the map. It's going to be a little bit different feel on offense for Orisa rather than defense. Defense, you know where you want to be. You just kind of lock down an area. Offense, obviously, you're trying to take space away from an entrenched defense. For the most part, you're going to be trying to rotate in left side. It's just a very common strategy. It's where it gives the offense the best vantage point for attacking. I will say the fun part about playing Orisa is when you pick her, she's got that really cool like startup noise. Remnants of Windows 95. So this is about just trying to get into left side. You can use Maze Wall, you can use Orisa Shield just to get in there without eating too much damage. They're gonna use a combination of both. And now you kind of wait here and try to get your cooldowns back. But the spark of other ideas, they wanna press the point because they have a Reinhardt comp. Halt, fortify, everything comes out. Just trying to get anything going here. The May is going to be a problem for Gesture. He does go back in, halts the May. That's not where you want to be. You can see him looking longingly down at his shield. I didn't want to be up here. I don't want to be up here at all. He's able to get taken out. Back to the drawing board. You think you got about four fights, four attempts here. That's one of them. Didn't go great. So now, contrary to popular opinion, they're not going to go to center. Spark have given up a lot of space. Dynasty going to happily take high ground because there's no one contesting it. There's a Sonic Arrow into halts, into deleted. And Godsby is the main threat when you're playing the Hangzhou Spark. Able to take him out early is enormous. This is a great angle. Then he gets the window, so Reinhardt can't even come in. He doesn't want to be there, but the halt is going to force him to be there. Desperation time. Everyone trying to come in, but there's the dragon. That's it. That's how you play Orisa on Anubis, on defense, on offense. Well played. Controlled the space, managed his cooldowns, and just started the combos, and this Sigma gets all the glory. But as an Orisa, you are the ghost writer for your team's victories. You do all the work, you get none of the credit, but that's just how it is.